This event celebrates the Humanitarian Day, which happens August 19th, and is bringing Beyoncé's concert into the General Assembly Hall at the UN. This, uh, this video clip is going to be seen by people throughout the world, and it's happening tomorrow night, and only tomorrow night. We made the, the, a scaled 3D model of this of this uh, this arena at Dirt Empire, so we actually created a screen that was at one to twenty five scale, and that was the first time that the client got to sit down and actually experience the content in a wraparound format. From there onwards, discussions were way more productive. The the concept ideas, the the idea of what's going to be on my side, what's going to be in front of me, that was a real real breakthrough moment. Para poder fazer todo esse dimensionamento, esse projeto aqui interno, teve que fazer um, um scanner 3D. Para partir desse scanner 3D, a gente poder dimensionar a tela e dimensionar a posição dos projetores, as lentes, etc., para poder chegar nesse resultado que a gente tem aqui hoje. The engineers that we brought in to build the screen build their design based on the architectural drawings that the UN had given them from the 50s. The actual structure is not according to the drawings. Super Uber ends up hiring a company that has to come in and fix the UN ceiling. So I guess this project now we're a permanent part of the General Assembly because we... It'll always be here. We put a structure <laughs> in their catwalk. It's a compound curve, um, which the, it's almost like building a, if I put it simply, like a lampshade. Uh, the, it's a real abstract shapes that have to go into this so they contour with the architecture. It's totally unique. Uh, it's never been done before. The scale of this is so huge. The assembly all actually looks larger because of the screen. You step in and you see this massive screen and it just goes on forever. It's just leaning over towards you. It wraps all the way around you. Uh, we, we're hitting this with 200,000 lumens of, of light. So it really transports you. It's very, very immersive. It gets to the point where you even forget it's, it's a screen with projectors and computers. It just, it's not about the technology anymore. It's just about this huge experience. actually walk into this area, you're absolutely consumed by everything, right? I think one of the most amazing quotes that just explains that is that when Beyonce was sitting down here, she saw it, she clapped, and then she went up and she rehearsed. And when she finished rehearsing, she grabs the microphone and she says, oh, I wish I could be up here and down there at the same time. One of the main things to me is to be able to transform this super iconic place into something else, you know, to capture it and project it back and uh, just play with people's notion that this is something fixed and immutable. This was the United Nations. people another level of experience that they won't be able to have anywhere. It's this experience that really blows people away.